Hi guys, today we're going to see how you can build your vendor store page with our plugin Yeetbook Commerce Multi-Vendor Marketplace. We're going to see all the options available, like for example, deciding if the vendors can upload their own header images or logos, or choosing what information to show to customers. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. So, with our plugin, every vendor can have a store page. A vendor store page can show a header image, the logo, the store name, the store's information, a description, and the products that he sells. As an admin, you can find the vendor store page settings by going over to the dashboard to Yid, multi-vendor, store and product pages, store page. So here's where you can configure the vendor store page. The first option we have is the header style, okay? We have three different options to choose from. Let me show you what they look like. If we choose style one and save options, we're going to see the vendor store page like this. Refresh there. So we have the header image right here. We have the information to the right, the store name, the description, the social media accounts. Let's go back. We're going to choose style number two, save options, back to the side, refresh. This is what style two looks like. We have the header image again, the store name, information, description, and social media accounts right here. Back again. And now we're going to choose style three, save options, back, refresh. There, so we have header image, store name, social media accounts, description, and information. So those are the three styles that you can choose for the vendor store page. All of them are going to have the same style. So now that we went through the first option, let's go back to the dashboard and let's see the rest of the options. We have the option to choose the header size in pixels. You see that the header image in the vendor store page that we were seeing was quite wide, but not that high. You can, of course, just set it at zero if you just want to use the original image size. Then you can choose the header colors. This is for the text and background. Let's try this. If I change this text color to something like this, then the background color to save options, back to the site, refresh. There are the new colors. Here is the text color and here is the background color. Back, let's just leave white for this one and black for this one. Now, the following option has to do with this one right here. Here you can upload a default header image and here's the option to show this default header image that you upload as an admin in all of the stores so vendors cannot upload a custom header image. Then the option to show the default header image that you upload only in the stores that do not have a header image yet or never use a default header image. Then we have the same options for the default logo. Let me choose this option and you'll see that I can upload a default logo image. So we can either upload a default logo image and show it in all of the stores so that vendors do not upload their own custom logos. We can show it only in the stores that do not have a logo image yet. Or we can simply never use a default logo image. When I click here, the option to upload the logo image disappears the same happens with the header image. If I click on never use the default header image, the option to upload one disappears. Then we have the logo size in pixels as well. Now here we have the vendor info to show. Here I'm going to be able to check all of the information from the vendors that I want to show to the customers. You can check all of the fields if you want to show description, bat number, location, phone, and everything else, or you can just choose, for example, not to show the website, not to show the store email. Then if you are showing the VAT number, you might want to check 
this option where you can change the VAT number label. You can modify it like this. And then you have the products list title. You can also change this title. Let's see that on the store page. Save back to the side, refresh. There we have the original colors back. In case you notice, I have the vendor's email and website right here. I unchecked those options just now on my dashboard so that information is not shown here anymore. The bat label was changed to just bat. And if I scroll down, here you see our products title about this vendor's products list. All of these products belong only to this vendor. Finally, if we go back to the dashboard, we're going to see another section that is called store widgets. Here you can enter your API key so that you can show the store location in the vendor store location widget. And here you can enable the option to show the Google Maps link below that widget so that users can be redirected to Google Maps to see that store location. Let me show you that. Here it is, the widget with the store location. Here's the link. If you click here, you're going to be redirected to Google Maps to see that location. So as you can see, here I have a widget added to show the store location. And here I have another one, a widget that users can basically use to get in touch with the vendor. They can simply fill out their information, add a message and submit to contact the vendor. Let me show you how to add these widgets back to the side and you need to go over to appearance widgets. On that page, I am using the default sidebar. So I have both widgets here. Let me just remove them to show you. You can simply add those two widgets by clicking here. First, we're going to look for the Yid vendor store location. Here it is. Click on it. There you go. You can change the title, of course. Make sure you have the API key set up where I showed you before. Then you can add a new block and just look for Yid vendor contact form. Click there. You'll see that you can also change the title here, the description, the submit button label. And you have options like hide from guests, Show on the vendor store page, which is where we were just seeing the widget. Show on the single product page in case you also want users to contact vendors when they're on their product pages. And you can also send a copy to the website owner. In this case, it would be me so that any contact form submitted by users to vendors gets also sent to me so that I'm aware of the messages being sent on the site. That said, update. And if I go back to the site, of course, I can refresh and I'm going to have the exact same widgets I showed you before. This is everything you can do as an admin to configure the vendor store page. Vendors can add their information by going over to their own dashboard. So let's go to the vendor dashboard. They need to go to your shop, store settings, and here they can upload the vendor profile image the header image, and add all the information that we can show on the vendor store page, even the description right here. Okay, guys, that's so how you can build your vendor store page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.